Hi everyone, my name is Heather. I am the social media and marketing manager here at Red Lake Brewing Company. I am working from my at-home office um, and today I thought I'd show you how to make a koozie mask. Um, you may have seen a photo that we posted recently, um, me and my coworker Stan uh, were wearing, kind of goofing around, but we figured we'd go ahead and show you how to make this. So this is how it fits. It was over the ears. Like that. And then it comes down over the nose. We're gonna go on under the chin. And there you go. Get yourself a koozie mask. So stay tuned, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make this yourself. Okay, so we're gonna go over the supplies that you need in order to make these masks. We have a koozie, of course. You're gonna want a pair of scissors, um, a knife just to help you poke the holes for the straps to go through. Um, we've got here a stapler just for the sake of this video. I don't actually recommend if you're gonna wear this to use a stapler. You can get away with it, but if you have the tools to sew in the skill, which I don't have the tools on hand, so um, you can use a stapler though just to um, fasten the bottom. Additionally, we're gonna want a paper clip, just a standard small one like this. And then lastly, you want some hair ties. I have here the fine hair ones. They're nice and thin. I'm not sure how the thicker ones would hold up. I'm sure it'd be just as fine, but it might be a little bit tighter around your ears. Um, these seem to work really well, and you don't have to create as large of holes to get them through. Okay, so starting out, um, Stan and I were wearing two different kinds of koozies. And again, it was kind of a joke, but we um, we did find a way to actually like create a mask. This is a good way to, if you don't want to cup a t-shirt or you just want to rep your favorite brewery, you can go ahead and do this. Um, so for the first one, it was a very basic, just a koozie across the face. So how you, I did that was you're just going to take your koozie like this. We're going to cut off the entire bottom part right here. So you've got straight edge and a straight edge. And then we're going to actually cut along the seam of the koozie. So we're just gonna make that cut. Be careful not to cut yourself, as I'm sure I'll accidentally do. So now you're left with one wide koozie, um, which just opened up and you still have this other seam holding it together. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to carefully take our knife um, before I do that, I'm going to show you about where you're going to want to put your holes. Because I just put two holes here towards the center of the koozie. And you can adjust this, you know, if you want it higher up so that you're covering more of your chin. Um, or you need a little bit more coverage above, then you can come lower down. But a good, look reference point generally is like right in the center. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our knife. And I would say come about, a, I don't know, I'm really bad at measurements about this far in, like, is it like a quarter of an inch? I don't know. So after I've marked where I want with the knife, I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and I'm just going to twist them in like so um, until, and again, please be careful, I'm making sure that I'm going between my fingers there. Um, and also don't come for me about my nails. We're all struggling, okay? But coming off slowly. <laughs> um, so I just kind of twist a little bit until I can see the other end of the um, scissors through there, like that. Okay, so I've got one hole in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have to take my hair tie. And with the hair tie, you're just going to push it through the hole you just made. Um, and this is where the size of the hair tie that you're using comes into play. Um, it can be a little difficult if you're using a thicker hair tie. Um, but if you're using string or ribbon, or if you have elastic on hand, you can certainly use that as well. So what we have is we have a small loop on one side, like so, and then we have the remaining part of the hair tie on the other side. Now, what you wanna do is you're going to loop these through. So you're gonna take one side, the bigger side on the outside. So you're gonna stretch this one and then you're just gonna bring the other side in, like so, and you're just gonna tighten it. So this is gonna create the ear strap to go around your ear, right? So we're gonna repeat that on the other side really quick. So we're gonna do the same thing, just put the loop through, boom, you got that. And so now you have a very wide, and make sure you tuck it under your ear like that. 
So now we have a very wide koozie. It comes down pretty far, down the chin. It comes up over the nose. I mean, it's not securing to the nose, which I'm gonna show you how to do on the next one. Um, and if it is a little large, instead of doing on sides, you could also do some ties. I know people will get, um, their ears can get irritated because of having, you know, elastic behind. So you could also take some ribbon and you could do holes at the top and holes at the bottom. And so you can secure it back here and you can secure it over there. Well, you can untie it and retie it. Um, it's a little bit more in the style of like a surgical mask. So that's how we're gonna do just, that's all that's needed for this first basic koozie. Um, if you're looking for one that's a little bit more fitted and maybe isn't so bulky, um, then I'll go ahead and show you how to do that one next. Okay, so for this next mask, what we are going to do is we're going to take one koozie, we're gonna create a bottom and give it um, an adjustable top here. We're still gonna use elastics for the sides. Um, and much like I stated in the last one, you can, uh, if you're gonna use ribbon or something like that, you can do, the two of them are one at the top and one at the bottom, so that you tie it in the back. But, so let's go ahead and start cutting this one. So I've got my koozie right here, and what you wanna do is we're actually going to cut it, so here's the front of our koozie. I'm gonna cut it down the middle in the back. And once you get down here to this, the bottom part of the koozie, we're going to cut across on one side only on this back side right here. We wanna keep the front connection. So I'm just gonna go one cut like that. So now we have the bottom of the koozie and the koozie can open up. As you can see, I have trimmed my koozie here. Um, I did this just so that it can better fit like my jaw shape. And it's really easy. I would just, you take the opening of your koozie and I just trimmed it to come up. So now we have this curved edge. And if you want to make sure that they're the same, you can fold your koozie in half like this. And so it's kind of hard to see, but we have our trim side on the front and then we have our back side here. So I'm just going to follow like my template essentially. So I'm going to trim just above the logo here. I'm going to go all the way across and just cut, is that maybe like half an inch of koozie off? And again, if my measurements uh, that I'm eyeballing here, that I'm stating, are not correct, please, you know, just bear with me. I'm terrible at, at, at that kind of stuff. All right, so we got a straight line here. We turn the koozie down to the logo. All right, and now regarding the bottom. Now, this is the part where I, I stated earlier when we were using supplies. I'm using a stapler. I don't have any one thread, unfortunately, in my house, and that would probably be the most ideal way to secure this, but if you have a stapler at home and you don't have any old thread like I, like I don't, then this is a way that you can easily secure your mask um, just to make sure. So this is what we're creating is the bottom of your chin. Um, it'll kind of come up to your face like that. So I'll show you on the one that I completed. What I did was I took the bottom, so here's the front of the mask, and we have this bottom part and we're just securing like a long seam here. Um, sorry for the dog here. So I just put three staples in there just to kind of give it some more. As you can see, there is some, some gapping. So you can either put more staples all along it, or like I said, if you have the ability to sew uh, that shut, then I would recommend that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna stand up here. We're going to take the bottom of the koozie here, like that, right? So you wanna basically like you're putting this koozie back together. And we're going to staple right about here where my index finger is. Now, actually showing you how, how I staple it can be can be tricky because sometimes the koozie doesn't want to cooperate. So I've got my staple here, and I'm going to just get in through the fabric. See, it comes undone. All right, so I've got that first one in. As long as it's secure, we've got it. But we have the ability to, you know, put in a few more staples. So I'm going to go ahead and do these additional staples right quick, and I'll show you what it looks like after I've got these in there. Okay, so we've secured this bottom part right here, just a few staples. Now we're gonna do the other side. Now this is where it can get a little annoying. I can't speak to, obviously, if you're sewing, if, it's, if it gets a little tricky, but I know trying to get the staples 
I'm gonna stand back up just so you can see how I'm, I'm having to like use my body um, in order to help me out. Maybe if you have someone who can help um, hold it while you do it. Not bad. Okay, so we have staples on the side, we have staples on the side. Now, this has created the form of the bottom for our physical mask. Now, I didn't have you trim the bottom part yet because it kind of depends on how it's going to fit on your face. So if you need a little bit more, then you know you can kind of hold this up to your face and see what feels comfortable, what's too excessive. Um, but given that I already made one, I'm going to go ahead and trim mine. I'm pretty much right on the other side of these staples. I'm just going to cut it like that. And so you can see now when I have it, it's like right here up, it hugs right under my chin. All right, so this is what we've got. We've got our sides right here that we've trimmed and we have attached our bottom. Again, preferably if you can sew it, I would recommend that. I mentioned that we would need a paper clip. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take one paper clip and you want to, I'm gonna put it over here in the computer screen so you can see. So you're gonna straighten it out like so. And if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm paying attention to what I'm doing here in the screen. I guess I could just look at the camera. Okay, so we have a straightened paper clip. Now, go ahead and fold it, like in half, about. It doesn't have to be exact. But then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut here. Right like that, okay? So you have two pieces. So if you have two pieces, you can make two pieces. But what we're going to do with this. And I'll show you on the one I currently made. And the cool thing is, is you're actually not able to see it. Um, but as you can see, like, I if I just move it the, the mask can bend. So I've changed the shape of the mask up here at the top. Now I've got it more narrow if I wanted to hug tighter to my nose. So how I did that was I took my paper clip here, and you are gonna put it through, so see how it's going into the koozie, but it's not sticking through. So we're gonna keep doing that until we get the entire paper clip in there. So it's going through like the koozie foam, and be careful as you're pushing it all the way in. You don't want, you wanna minimize any, any part of the paper clip sticking out. So I've gotten the whole paper clip in. So it's over here, all the way down, and here's the other end. This is where I was pushing it from. So to alleviate, to, to get that back in, I'm gonna turn around a little bit here to show you. So I'm adjusting it inside of the koozie just so that I can tuck it back in there. So now it's not there. So once I've got it, and as you're adjusting it on your face as well, you might kind of feel a prick. Just go ahead and take the mask back off and readjust it. Okay, so I've got paper clip inside. So as you can see, my koozie can form to my nose. It comes up under my chin. And now all we have to do is make the straps. So this is going to be exactly like the previous one, so I'm not gonna waste any of your time uh, trying to get these through. Our koozie mask. It comes around the ears. Comes nice and form fitting. And again, if, if your face uh, fits better with the mask without trimming it, then that's great. Less work for you to do. But if you if you do need to trim it, luckily there is some customization with these. You can trim the bottom, so you can take off the top, and um, you can customize how you want to trim it around your head. So yeah, here we've got our koozie red eye face masks. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry if this was a terrible tutorial. I obviously don't do this very often, but I appreciate you hanging out and I hope you stay safe, stay sane, and stay thirsty. Cheers!